Hello and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be looking at setting up a notification, in particular the alarm notification. Uh, now this is uh, quite handy and it's very useful, specifically because what we're going to actually look at is adding your own custom sound to the alarm notification. So let's go right ahead and jump in. The first thing that we will need to do is go to the notifications tab. Okay, and what we need to do uh, when we're in the notification tab is go to begin notification wizard. Okay, and then we're left with this uh, screen here and we have a drop down menu which lists all the different notifications that we can set up. Uh, in this particular instance, uh, as I said before, we're going to go to the alarm sound and then click next. Okay, great. Now the first option that we've got here is our action name. So rather than calling it alarm sound one, um, we can just uh, call it alarm in office. Now you'll notice that the sound file uh, here, um, if we click down, we just have random sounds which are already pre-installed, but we want to add our own sound file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add our own sound. Great, okay, and now this brings up this new window and we want to go to browse and I've uh, already pre-recorded a, um, a sound on my system um, now if we, uh, let me just see if I can find it in here uh, okay warning alert so I press open and then add file okay and now you can see that the warning alert dot uh, wav has been added uh, and we can close the window now you'll notice uh, what we need to do then is it's not it's not actually been added here in the sound file list so we need to scroll to the bottom and you'll see that our warning alert has now been added and we'll click OK. Now below that we have our play time so it can play for uh, three seconds uh, which is probably a, a, about right and then below we have our speaker volume currently set uh, to uh, currently set here to 40 however we'll change it up to 80. Um, now the alarm sound will actually be played out through the unit through the um, security probe 5e however I would like to point out that on the back of the security probe 5e there is actually an audio jack there where you can actually um, attach an external speaker um, giving you much more volume so um, I just thought I'd let you know so we'll go right ahead now and we'll click next okay so now we have maximum times to replay the message so let's say we'll set that to twice and we'll have a replay interval between the um, playing back of the message of five seconds and we'll go to next okay so now what we need to do is actually link that uh, link the sensor to the action so we're going to select the internal RJ45 board and then we're going to select the temperature in the office and then we'll click next okay great so now what we need to do is actually select the status in which we would like the alarm to sound so um, we will select high critical and there we have our action alarm in office and we'll go ahead and click finish okay so now what you can now you can see here that uh, the internal board has the temperature sensor selected we have an action on that sensor which is due to um, go into um, an action if it hits high critical and the action name is the alarm in office which means it would play out the um, the sound that I recorded and that's it very very easy and a really really useful notification to have